Oh, so my name is Sarah Parkinson. I'm a children's author and illustrator, and I will be drawing for you today three animals, but I'm just going to quickly show you my books. They are The Shoe Foxes, my first release about the shop foxes that love shoes, and Dragonfly Pie, book about um, a dragonfly that's running away from a uh, geese, a goose that's very, very upset, <laughs> has been kept up by the dancing dragonflies, um, and I've written and illustrated all of my books. So I'm going to uh, be releasing another one later this year, which I will be stopping to do my, stopping doing my workshops um, as of next week so that I can crack on with the books. Um, so I'm sorry to have to announce that, but it was, uh, it was coming, wasn't it? Hello everybody! Hello Zoe! Hi Louisa and Horsham! <laughs> Hi Louisa, lovely to see you. Hi Cora! Hello Jessica near Dudley! Nice to see you! Hi Mum! <laughs> oh Reggie and Percy, hi guys, how are you? Miss you! Oh lovely to see you! Um, so today we are going to be drawing three, whoops, three animals today. We are going to be covering red pandas and I'm making them into birthday cards so that you can know if you've got any, um, if you've got any birthdays coming up. Always handy to have a birthday card tutorial on there uh, on hand isn't there? There we go, lovely pug and a meerkat. So on this one it's uh, did someone say cake? cake don't we? Like if I have time I'll try and draw a cake at the end but I don't know if we'll have time. It's a long one today, a bit of a difficult. Lovely pug saying I couldn't give you a hug so I've sent you this pug. And then we've got Red Panda saying happy birthday party animal. And it's absolutely sh sleepy sleepy Red Panda. Uh, right let's have a look. We've got Alina, Mila and Jacob. Oh it's Alina's eighth birthday today! How perfect is this for you? Happy birthday Alina! Woo! Boink! Got lots of balloons around the place they're going to be doing my head in. <laughs> but wanted to make it fun looking. Who else have we got? Hello, so fantastic birthday Alina. We've got Charlotte saying hello today. We've got Izzy. We've got Henry. Hi Henry. Oh, fantastic, excited Cora. We've got Annabelle aged five. We've got Izzy aged 11. Millie and Hayden again. Lovely to see you guys. So lovely for you to come and join me again. Oh, fantastic. Are we ready? to get drawing today. We need to make sure we don't forget to do our exercises, do we? I thought I knew I'd end up forgetting to do something. Who else have we got to say happy birthday to? We've got Imogen to say happy birthday to. If Imogen's on today, we've got, uh, we've got Zephira's birthday today again. It's uh, Zephira who requested the meerkat. So uh, meerkat is dedicated to you, Zephira. Let's do some lovely finger exercises. I'm going to sing Eye of the Tiger, some training songs, ooh, how are we doing? Oh, you're giving this to your nanny, oh fantastic, what's your name? What's your name? Who's giving it to your nanny? Who are you giving it to your nanny? Give me your name. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so we've got some exciting things to go today, so do this, do jazz hands. Oh my goodness, it's a hot one today, isn't it? Whew. I think I'm going to be suffering. I've got a fan on. I'm hoping for the best. See how that. See if that's uh, enough. Oh, I have to turn off one of my lights. Okay, we're we getting all this any nervous energy out. Don't want to be drawing. Oh, shake all your arms. All of them. All two of them. Do crazy hands. This one's a good one. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Tell you what, I feel ready to go now. Do you? I'm going to get these balloons out of the way. Happy birthday to those whose birthday it is. Woo! One of my watchers, um, Laura, it was her birthday yesterday. Oh, get those balloons out of the way and let's get drawing. Oh, fantastic. Let's get cracking, shall we? 
we're on. So we are going to start today. I've got my pens today. No daft you've been framed moments where I go missing and have to go and find my pens from downstairs. Let's get cracking. Now, for our first drawing. Now, mums and dads as well, grown-ups, make sure you've got your cups of tea. I've got a nice cup of water and a nice cold drink as well. It's one of those today, isn't it? Oh, okay. So let's get cracking. So to start today, we are going to start by drawing our red panda. So what we're going to do is draw, make sure that everybody can see properly, let's turn you a little bit Facebook. Oh, Evie and her daddy are here, hi. Okay, so to get started with our red panda, we are going to draw the branch that the red panda goes on first. Now that's a bit crazy for me, isn't it? I usually start with the eyes or something, but today we're going to start with our branch. So let's get a nice branch drawn. Just like that. I'm going to pop a little twig on mine here just to make it look more branch-like. I'm even going to draw a little leaf. So it's all on here. Now, if you're going to pop a twig on yours, do it in the same place I am because I'm going to have a red panda and all the rest of it. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, get need up here. Right. So first things first, I want you to get now I'm going to use a black here, so use the same, the same thing that you've used on your branch to do this. Now this is going to be the paw that's wrapping around our branch. So just show you one here. This, that's where we're going to start. We're going to draw a nice sausage and colour it in. Okay. Just like that. Nice and easy. I'm going to colour in that little sausage. That is going to be one of our paws. Did you know that red pandas are nocturnal animals? That means that they're only up at night. Let's get some little claws up here as well. Just so three little boop, boop, boop. Helps if you make the noise. Okay. So we've got that. Next we need to do our face of our panda, which is going to be here. I'm hoping this is going to turn out well. Let's see how we go. So we're going to get a nice little nose on there. <laughs> now the shape of it, I've done mine like that and coloured it in. Okay, but it's so small, I bet you can barely see that, can you? But we're drawing a full one here. Right. And we're going to draw some eyes. Now our eyes are going to be closed and they're a little bit higher than where the nose is. So if I show you on the picture, you want to leave a gap so that we can draw some of these markings and things on. Okay, oh did I show that to Instagram properly? So leave a bit of a gap. So some nice closed eyes there. Then we're going to draw um, ears which are going to be, you need to make sure you leave enough room again for the markings, a bit of a forehead. So I would say about the space that you've done for your nose and your eyes you do again up here, leave that blank up there and draw ears coming off like little Little leaves. <laughs> okay, then we're going to draw two little lines. One, two. And a couple of little fuzzy bits. Just go do, do, do. Just on the insides of those ears. <laughs> 
okay. So our ears, and we need to do the top bit of the top of the head. So to do that, we're going to do a little grassy tuft, like you've seen me do before, and then join up those ears. <laughs> okay. Then we need to get some fluff. So they've got nice fluffy sides to the, to the sides of their face, haven't they? So again, it's grassy tufts again. Just down the side. And then, let's pop a little, do you know, I haven't done a little smile underneath my nose, have I? So just do a little nick and a smile. Lovely. Let's see how we get on. So next we're going to get, I'm going to use a dark brown for mine. Other colours that I'm going to be using is a light brown as well. So see how you go with your markings if you've got uh, the colours to do it. If not, I would say to just leave the marking side of things until you've got your colours with you. But if you've got a dark brown and a light brown, if you pop some little markings just underneath the eyes, so it just has to go straight down. Maybe going around the snout a little bit. Let me see. That kind of shows it brings out the little his little face, doesn't it? How are we looking? Oh, hi Claire, lovely to see you and I'm with you as well. Uh, I did dig guides on Zoom yesterday from Izzy. From... Oh, did you dig guides on Zoom? I'm with you. Oh, Izzy, age 11, yes. <gasps> Hope you had a good time with doing your guides. Mine looks like a ko koala bear. Oh, cute. Also cute. Now, the one thing that red pandas have that really shows them off to be red pandas are these little white eyebrows. So I'll show you them on my picture. Can you see that I've coloured, that I've made, drawn a little line around and then coloured in all of the head. That's what we're going to do next. Okay. So if I show you, grown ups, this is a bit like a scouse brow. <laughs> Get a bit of black off this. Do you know what a scouse brow is? <laughs> Very, very hard eyebrows. Hey, they're your bag. Can you see what I've done? So draw those eyebrows on and then colour around them. Okay. And then I'm going to pull up a little bit on the ears. Oh, and a little bit under there as well. So it's all the way up to the eyes. Down to the eyes, I guess. Okay. So we've got a nice little face going on. Let's give him a chin. And just let that go into the branch there. And then we're going to have... Uh, what's next on my list? Let's do a paw. Let's do our front paw here. So we're going to have a paw hanging down. Same size as our sausage here, but it's going to be going downwards. Like that. Oops. I'm not going to do it as a sausage. I'm going to do it as, let's say, a cut, an open-ended sausage. Can you see? Curved at the bottom, and I'm going to colour it in. This one's going to look nice by the end of it, it's going to be all ready. I'm going to pull it in. Okay, pop those claws on. Red pandas are actually carnivores. Well, they're vegetarian carnivores because a carnivore means that it doesn't mean that it necessarily eats meat, but that they their ancestors, like their grandparents, that the, the, oh, can't say their grandparents really, their, um, oh, explaining evolution, uh, <laughs> um, the younger, well, thousands and thousands of years ago, what the red pandas used to look like, they used to be uh, carnivores, but now they're not, they're vegetarians. 
bet you my other half is going, no, that's not how you explain it. Right, we're going to draw a body next. Okay, don't worry, all this bit's going to be coloured in. I'm going to draw a body now, going right the way down the slope of the tree. And then I'm going to do a little bump on the end to show the start of the tail. Okay, so whoop, and then a bump. That's where our tail's going to go. Okay, I'm gonna do, let me fill it in, in dark brown whilst you guys get your uh, body there. Maybe you, get, you, guys start, you guys get some colour on as well. Now we're gonna be drawing a big foot here but it doesn't matter if you colour because obviously you'll be able to colour over it with the darker colour. But colour all of this in dark. You can always kind of fill in the blanks afterwards. I'm doing this now because it's easier with the uh, the dry white markers. Whew, goodness me it's so warm. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm not outside though because I bet it's sweltering out there. I wonder if anybody's set up in their garden. Okay. So I'm just going to colour that in for now and then I can colour in the rest. Okay, and I'm going to draw now the back foot. Now I've got my tail here, but wherever it is that you've got the back of your body, I want you to draw, starting from here, a big foot. I'm ready for this. Looks kind of like the end of a sock, doesn't it? Let's see why I say that here. It's going to curve around here, so I'm going to be rubbing out some of mine there. And up here, can you see? It's a funny shape, isn't it? Colour that in black. It's so hot. What other things do we know about red pandas? Pop some little claws on the bottom. Boop, boop, boop. And colour in any other bits that you might not have already. Oh, it's a hot one. How are we all getting on? I'm vegetarian, yeah. See, that's, I suppose that's the best way to describe it, actually, because we're described as being uh, carnivores, aren't we, as people? But then there's a lot of vegetarians that are uh, carnivores as well. They just decide not to eat meat. Oh, so cute. I'm glad you like it, Cora. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, Helen, my, co well, Helen, my cousin's watching, and Helen, my uh, one of my old friends from school... I saw that Helen in a uh, cake shop recently and I didn't get to say hello because I felt nervous. I didn't know if you'd remember me. Right. And then let's pop a nice tail down here, shall we? It's another little sausage. The bigger the better. We'll fill in the bottom of here. Nice little black end to that tail. And then get your brown out. I'm going to do some stripy fur. Now you can either do them as lines like this, or you can do them like me and just pull them in, or you can do them like me and make them look a bit more furry by doing ziggy zaggy lines. Okay, so I'm using my dark brown. And then the light brown in between because they have lovely stripy tails. You know how I like to make these things look furry. Because they're so cute and furry. There we go. 
Right, what are we missing? I think we need a party hat on this uh, party animal. I think it should be a little bit of a skew over here, don't you think? He's partied hard. You just have to pop a little triangle on top and colour it in. That's if you want it to be one like that's uh, at a party. Maybe you just want to have a nice, normal, natural looking panda. Yeah, oh gosh. Door slamming downstairs. Anybody else having that with all the windows being open? Okay, so we've got our party hat, pointy party hat, and then we can either do a circle at the top. Oh, I'll tell you what, it looks like a Santa hat, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's make it a different colour. Uh, let's make it a nice orange. So you can either do it as a circle, put a little pom-pom on the top, or do lots of lines. Out like a star. Coming from the centre, it looks like a fluffy one then, doesn't it? Oh dear. What's happened, dear? There we go. Have I got all the elements of my lovely red panda? Let's get some, getting this tree trunk looking real have we, as well, shall we? Oh, the branch. So you just have to do a little circle, and then another little circle around it, and then another little one. And if you do them at different points over the branch, not many, not many altogether, just like one at one point, Another one down here, shall I? And then the rest of it you just have to do as lines. And you can maybe do the lines in a dark colour. And then colour the rest in a light colour. Oh, there we go. It's a hot one today. There we go, our little party animal. Make that bigger then. There we go. What do we think? Oh God, that A does look strange, doesn't it? Ooh. <laughs> We're going to be going on to our next one in just a moment. Gosh, I've done weird on my backwards writing there, haven't I? Let's have a look. Do I have any pets? Oh, that's a good question. I have one cat, one little cat called Stella, and my cat, Stella, is the most antisocial cat in the world. That means that she is just grumpy all the time and hides away from everyone. People come over and are like, oh, where's your lovely little cat? And I say, she's hiding under the sofa because that's where she likes to live. She is so grumpy and I'm going to write a book about her someday. I just need the right story. It's all in the works. Oh, goodness me. So we've done our party animal. Next, we're going to do our meerkat. Who's ready for a meerkat? This one's for birthday girl, Safira. So for this one, I want you to get out, if, you, if you've got them, um, a pencil and a rubber because that will help you loads to make this look really, really good. Okay, so we're all ready to go. I can't pack cat called Popcorn. Oh, I love that name. Right, okay, so I think I've learned from my tiger cub from last week. <laughs> I'm not going to start with the eyes because I do them too big and then the rest of it has to compensate. So we're gonna start with the head. <laughs> Now, what we're going to do is use one of my tricks that I use um, when drawing my foxes. Now, this isn't for you to draw if you because um, I won't be drawing the whole thing, but when I draw my foxes, I use circles to get my shapes. Oh, gosh. And then rub out bits in between. So that is a really naff version of one of my foxes, but that is what I kind of work to. So I know how big to draw everything. That looks awful, doesn't it? But that's pretty much what I would do to draw one of my foxes. So I'm going to use this trick now 
to draw the meerkat, but it's a dead simple one. So I want you to start by drawing a bit of a squashed circle and oval. Okay. Then we're going to be drawing another squash circle, but squash the other way down here. But I want it to make sure that it goes quite thin up here and quite big at the bottom. Probably a bit more. It's not really quite a pair, but I'll show you what I mean. So if you do this in your pencil. Okay. So now you've got that. That is like what we're going, the, the rough shape that we're going to be doing all of our meerkat to. Okay. So next we're going to do, uh, let's do our snout. Our little snout. So I'm going to draw one and I'm going to show you the, the, the drawing that I've done before of it and then you can see what you think. So going out on a little curve like this where our nose is going to go at the end. Then it's going to go down a little bit, and then you want you to imagine that it's a little smile. Just like this. Okay. And then we're going to do another little line underneath for his little chin. So can you see how I've done that there, and how it's going to turn, one's going to turn into the other? I might need to turn my little thing up a little bit. Otherwise we might be in a little bit of an angle. Okay, so can you see what's happened with him? Just get, get this a little bit more upright. Is that better? Whew. It's too damn hot. Oops, sorry, it's, um, then we're going to have our eye in next. Now our eye, we want to make sure there's enough space around our little eye because we're just going to draw the little black bit, the little round bit of the eye first, okay? And we're going to do the markings afterwards, unless you want to do the markings now, in which case that's fine. But let me just get that a bit closer for YouTube. There we go. So I'm just going to do my little black eyeball for now and I'll add all my markings afterwards. And do a big a circle, circle for the eye, and then a little circle inside, and colour around the middle so that we've got a little shine. Okay, and then what we do is rub out all the bits that are extra, don't we? So on here as well. So we're going to make a little neck on there. And then we can rub out those bits. You see what I've done? So you join those two bits together and then take out the bit in the middle. That looks a little bit like a duck at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's get an ear on there. So that is just going to be a nice little curly cur. Get that looking less like a duck in a minute. Let's draw around our head, shall we? So we'll get on the little nose. And then follow around with a maybe a black or a dark brown, whichever suits you. Just to get our little shape. Okay. Now I'm going to have a party hat on mine up um, at the end, so I'm going to rub a little bit out there. Sorry, if you've already drawn that and you wanted to draw a party hat, but maybe you can draw a darker party hat. Okay. Then we're going to draw... Oh, let's draw our paws now, our front paws. Now they are going to be... If you take... If you look at your circle and make a little mark halfway and then another little mark halfway between the top and your middle bit, so a quarter of the way, just there. And what you'll do is take, made my board wobbly like wobblier now, is take your line 
down like this. And then that middle mark that you've got is going to be your elbow, the edge of your elbow. Just like that. And you can pop a couple of little paw claws in there. Whew. And follow that line down. <laughs> they tend to keep their two paws together, don't they? So we won't only see all of the of the paw on the other side. We might see a little bit of it, so I'm gonna put a little paw just there. Kind of hold them like that, don't they? How are we doing? Oh, let's have a look. Call your cat Grump. I should call my cat Grump, shouldn't I? I thought Stella was a classy name. Maybe I should call my, the one in my book Grump. Yeah, I think you're right. Can I see the baby, please? Oh, I don't know what the baby is. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Can you bring your baby in? Oh, my <laughs> my little girl. Oh, she, I, don't put her, I don't put her up everywhere until she knows that she, until she decides she wants to go online. Let's have a look. Um, I'm going to make my cousin Logan. Oh, Logan is a lucky boy. Right, are we ready for our next bit? We're going to draw legs now. So, that's our middle point, isn't it, where our elbow is. Then, the middle bit between the bottom and the middle there. So, quarter, about, about a quarter of the way down. quarter of the way there. I want you to draw a leg, which is going to go, if you watch me first, a nice curved line, just like that. And then we're going to take the back of the leg from the back of this uh, your penciled circle down here and then going down until the claw, claw down here, if that makes any sense. Down here and then meet the rest of the leg down at the bottom. There we go. It's so hot. I'm going to do another leg over here, and you just want to copy the one that's in front. Again, because they're just stood together, aren't they? They're perked up, ready to go. And then we can draw another line over this pencil line, which is your tummy, and we just have to rub out this line here. See how it's coming together? Now, so we've got our floor here. I'm going to draw a little shadow. This is our floor, and then a bit further along is where we're going to have our tail, which they actually brush the floor. They just leave, they just kind of, I don't want to say dangle. They're brushing the floor, so just like that, like a little brush, a little paintbrush. Oh, hi, Tom. So let's put some little, a bit of dark brown. The colouring on this was really difficult when I was doing it on my uh, on my card. I'll show you that in a minute when, I, when we get properly into the markings, which we might be well there. Let's have a look. Turn party hat. Right, okay, so let's do our party hat and then I'll get into the markings. So my party hat's going to be purple. What you're going to do, if you want to draw a party hat, draw a curved line over the top of the head. Just a little bit curved, like that. So it's the edge. From one side to the other, because that's where it's hit his head. Hit his head like it's hit him. <laughs> Pick a point a bit further up. Nice tall pointy hat. And then just bring those two lines to two bits together get it all coloured in now if you want to have a little bit a few tips on how to make it look more like it's a, a real hat rather than just being blankly coloured in you can shade it a little bit so if you colour hard on the outside bit and then get lighter and lighter going in just going off the edges like this so there's one side oops 
and then lighter, lighter, lighter going in and then hard on the other side and then lighter, lighter, lighter going in. Does that make sense? <laughs> So you can do that if you want to add them to make it look a bit more real. And then we're going to have a little pom-pom on the top. You can either do a ball or you can do a little spiky one like me. And the more spikes the better. Just keep doing that over and over and over again. Okay. Then we want to draw the back of our meerkat and some markings. I would keep that line there because you can't really see the back of the where the tail goes in. Now with our markings you can either do it like I said with the uh, panda, you can either draw them like that or you can do what I like to do which is make them look furry by doing them like colouring in, you've got to, it's like controlled colouring in. So going wider at the top and going down into a point. <sighs> and if you want to add another, if you've got a light brown and a dark brown you can make it look even more real by adding a little bit of light brown in there. Now if you want to find out more about meerkats one good thing to Google is Meerkat Mansion because, oh, that was amazing when I was younger. I used to love watching a bit of Meerkat Mansion. That shows how sociable they are. They're really, really interesting to watch. Now, that will tell you everything you need to know about the uh, Meerkats and how they're a good lookout. Now, let's just quickly do our markings on our eyes. Show you the uh, drawing again so you can see where I've got my markings. So they sometimes have darker legs and feet, bit of darkness on their tails, but all the rest of this is just a light brown and then a white belly, and a white face. And then we're going to work on get up the, the uh, markings around those eyes as well. So for those, just draw a leaf shape. I'm going to use my slightly thinner one for this. So do like a leaf shape, but where the leaf is pointing down. Does that make any sense? Just at the end there. And then colour it in, but I'm not going to colour it all in. I'm leaving a little white line so that you can see where the uh, eye is. What do you think? Whew. So yes, this is our lookout meerkat. Oh goodness me, time is absolutely flying by, isn't it? Let's get onto our plug. Okay, so I've got my meerkat saying, did somebody say cake? That's our lookout meerkat, looking out for cake. Right, on to the next one. Oh, so cute. I'm glad. Do you like it, Amani and uh, uh, Iman? Lovely. Okay then, so our pug. I'm going to have to crack on with this wee pug, aren't I? So... Dangerous thing with the uh, with the pug is that I've got to start with the eyes, so I'm going to make sure I don't go too big. Okay, we're ready. Now our eyes need to be, yes, they need to have a good size. Oh gosh. But they also need to have a bit of a gap between them, because if you look on my picture... I don't know if you can see, but the edges, these, these brown bits in the middle are some brown markings which we want to keep free. This is where the, uh, if you can stay on the focusing, um, that's where the eye begins. So there needs to be a little bit of a gap between those two dark eyes. Kind of important, that one. So hopefully that's going to be enough of a gap. And we're going to draw two circles on the inside and we're going to draw little lines down the, down the middle, little curves. 
curved line there. Can you see? If I colour it in there, you can see where I've done it. Whew. I absolutely have to finish at one today, so I have to make sure that I'm uh, ready. Okay, so there's our eyes. Next we need to do our nose. And our nose is going to be a little bit further down and a little upside down triangle and a little line. Don't draw anything else yet. Okay, and I'm going to do with a dark brown, if you've got your dark brown, I want you to do a, um, a rainbow line going from here to here. Okay, we're ready. Now, we're going to those these points here because our pug is turning a little bit in our picture. See how you get on. I'm going to join our rainbow up to our little line in the middle with a little, look at those little cheeks and then colour it in. You don't have to colour in now if it, if it means you'll be in a rush. I'll just quickly get it done. Okay, next we're going to do our, um, our eyebrows and our markings around our eyes. We're going to get all of this done now. So for this I want you to draw two lines where the bridge, where the middle of his nose will be, if that makes any sense, where his nose is going to be. So here and here. And then we're going to draw a line going downwards like this, down here, because I don't know about you, but I always think that pugs look a little bit, little bit sad, and that's what makes them so cute. I don't know why that is. Or sometimes they don't know. That's a, that's a lie. They do lovely smiles, don't they? That's a bit harder to draw though. What do you think? I'm going to colour in that line now between the line that between the uh, eyes and the uh, and those lines that we've just drawn. Okay. Then we're going to get a black and draw some eyebrows. <laughs> These are really just wrinkles, really. They're all wrinkly, aren't they, pugs? And that's just going to be like a little hook. And we're going to get a little bit more and put lines on those two bits as well at the top of the markings just because it shows them being extra wrinkly. And then there's going to be another line that's like a bird. So you know when you draw a bird really quickly in the sky, you do a little V like that. And you see it's gone right into the right into the eyebrows. So we've got the starts of a good face here, haven't we? Then we are going to draw uh, but probably wrinkles. Ears. So for our ears, we're going to draw, we're going to think about where our ears are going to be. And they're going to be around about here. But they need to be sloping downwards, the same as what our uh, wrinkly eyebrows are. So draw a little downward line, just like that. And then they're like droopy ears, aren't they? And then draw a little line just like that, just to show they're flopping, aren't they? Just do the same over here. Little droopy ears and a little hook. Pull those in brown. How are we doing for time? Oh, there's not as many birthday elements as I would have liked in today. Maybe I'll pop up a tutorial on how to draw a birthday cake or something. Never mind. We're all here for the animals, let's be honest. But we'll be a nice little flower in his mouth, hopefully. Maybe we can pop a little bow on his head. 
Okay, so we've coloured our ears in, and then we're going to draw. Now you can either draw a line straight across, or you can make it look a little bit wrinkled by doing this. A little bump, line, little bump. <laughs> there we go. Next, we're going to pop on some cheeks. So that's just linking our cheek here, the sides of his head, really, that's his cheek. And then linking his head to his eye there. Can you see, because he's looking this way a little bit. And then carry the line on that you've got here down to the side of his face. Okay. And let me just draw another line coming from the coming from out well coming from out of his ear with me, but see how you, how it works with you, just for the side of his face, just like that. You see. Then we're going to go to going on a body. Now for that we're just going to do a nice swoopy line, and see where you end up, just like that. <laughs> and he's going to have. Nice big leg, which I'm just going to briefly colour in a little bit. It was Evie and uh, Evie's mum Kelly that have asked for the pug, and they've got a pug at home. Lucky things, who else has got a dog? Okay, now, next bit, now let's draw a front paw here. Our front paw needs to be coming out around about here from where the side of the face is. You can always join in the bits in the middle. I, my, I think he's sticking his bum out a little bit, my pug. He's doing a bit of a Beyonce. There we go. And then we're going to have tummy which is going to go up from here all the way down like that. <laughs> he looks funny doesn't he my bug. I think I've done my the bum way too big. It's like a sausage dog. Get very critical of my own drawings don't I? There we go. I'll pop another little foot in there. You could maybe add some claws on there. Some little. Okay, and then what are we missing? We're missing a lovely swirly tail because that is what we need to have on our pug. And it looks a little bit like a cinnamon bun. So, the uh, best way to do that is start out from the bottom, have it coming up, and then going around. Just like that. <laughs> what do we think? And we'll draw a nice little. Oh, tell you what, we're missing from our little pug. Now we can either have him just looking like that because he does look just fine like that as well. But mine is holding a little flower. So what I'm going to do is draw. Two little lines just underneath his nose there, can you see? And then a curved line underneath and colour it in. That's his bottom, that's the bottom of his lips really, isn't it? He looks fine either way. I'm going to draw a little flower hanging out of his mouth. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. With orange on there. And this one would work for anybody right now, isn't it? Because I'm sure you would love to give lots of people hugs right now and you maybe can't. So our flower, let's do some leaf petals coming out of our flower. So what we have written on mine is Make it make the leaves look a little bit droopy after being held by this pug. Mine says, I couldn't give you a hug. 
So I've sent you this pug. And your little pug's holding a nice little flower as a little present. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Have I got time to draw a little bow? I've got time to draw a little bow on our pug. If you wanted to maybe add a bow. Uh, let's draw it somewhere else. I'm not going to draw it on the pug. All you have to do is draw... Is that big enough for you to see? Just draw it a little bigger. You imagine you draw a square in the colour that your uh, bow is going to be. And then add a little curve on top and the bottom. Then can you make those lines on the inside as well? Can you see what those lines are? I might just cut what I'll, I'm just going to colour it all in because I don't want for it not to be clear. Colour all that in so it's just uh, you can either if you did see those lines you just colour around those lines. If you didn't, don't worry because there's other ways we can make our bow look super real. <sighs> then, with the same colour that we're going to use our bow, this looks like it's looking out, but it's not, believe me. Okay, see how you've got your line there? You need to make that curved line. And then make it almost like a leaf shape underneath, can you see? And then make that one a curved line. You see how the key is doing it with the colour, because then you can just colour it all in. Okay. Just like that. And then you can either add some little shines in there. You know, I like to add a shine. Colour around the edges. How are we doing? We're nearly there. Nearly there. Right. Nearly there, nearly there. Let me see. And then you can add that at the top, and you can pop them on top in, on the top of your pull, on the top of your red panda, like little present on top of your meerkat. I am going to have to love you guys and leave you now because I'm going to have to run off. But it was so so lovely drawing all of these wonderful wonderful things with you. And uh, next week is my last week, but um, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be for Children's Art Week, and we are going to be drawing. Fishes and things under the sea. Let's have a little look. Oh, I'm scared about messing up. Don't be scared about messing up. That's absolutely fine. Oh, Izzy, fantastic. I'm so looking forward to see your, seeing your pictures when I come off. I can't see them at the moment. Oh, your pugs look so chubby. I'm sure they look absolutely fabulous. It has been so, so lovely to, to see you. And I will see you next week for my last workshop. <gasps> I'm so looking forward to see you then and um, take care in the meantime. Send me your drawings. Bye.